Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Now in this tutorial, it's a very short kind of demonstration that uh, we're gonna see that how you can make use of Amazon FSx for Lusher and you can disconnect it with two instances. So this is my YouTube management uh, console or the dashboard. Let me just go to the all services or simply I can search for FSx on the search menu bar that's there on the top. And let's click on the FSx. Now, once we just go to the FSx page, we're going to be just deploying, uh, we just um, create a file system. Now, FSx is a service that helps you to launch and run feature rich and highly performant file systems with just a few simple clicks. So I click on create file system, and you will see that the three options that I'm presented with. We have uh, FSX for NetApp ONT AP, FSX for Windows File Server, and FSX for Lusher. Now, in this demonstration, we will deploy FSX for Lusher, which gives you cost-effective, high-performance, scalable file storage for compute workloads such as machine learning, high-performance computing, video processing, and even financial modeling. So once I choose this option, the FSX for Lusher, let's click on Next. And thereafter, I need to just make sure I can assign a name to it. So uh, let's assign a random name. Then you have to choose the deployment and storage type. Now, I choose persistent SSD. Persistent means that it's a long-term storage. And I'll just go with the SSD-based volume storage option, which is more fast compared to HDD or hard disk drive. If you want to go for a temporary storage, you will choose a scratch SSD. But because in our case, we want to go for a long-term storage, then we just go with the persistent SSD. You just keep a throughput per unit of storage to 50 megabyte per second per terabyte. It's the throughput you'll get from this FSS file system. And the minimum storage capacity that you have to set is 1.2 terabytes. Then you don't have to define any data compression type we will choose the latest Lusher version, which is uh, the version 2.12. You can just go with 2.10, it's perfectly fine. So I choose this version, then I choose the VPC where this uh, FSX file system would be deployed into. You don't have to change the security group as such. Now, of course, we're gonna be changing its inbound rule afterwards. We just leave it as it is. And just keep the subnet to the default value and then you can just keep all the settings as it is, even the encryption to encrypt your data because your data will be encrypted at rest using this default KMS key. Let's go with that. So once you choose all these different values, you accept all the default parameters, click on next. You can just summarize and review all the parameters, click on create file system, and this creates a file system from scratch. Now creating a, uh, FSX file system or Amazon FSX for Lusher, it is one of the simplest methods out. But the main thing that you have to understand is that how you connect the front end Eastern instances to this FSX file system or this Lusher file system. So, what I will do next is that I will just uh, open EC2 dashboard in a different tab. And let's go ahead and deploy two healthy instances. So I will just click on launch instances. Fine. Once I click on launch instances, the very first thing is that I have to choose the AMI. Let's go with the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Click on select. Then uh, the next thing is that you choose the instance type. Let's go with t2.micro, which is free of cost. Click on next configure sense details. Now on this page, just add on two in the number of instances because we want to deploy two instances and that's it. Click on next add storage, next add tags. Now we can assign a common tag to these two different instances. So for example, let's type in um, demo FSX EC2 instances or instance and just click on next configure security group. Now I just cre create a new one for example, I just label it as, for example, EC2 instances hyphen SG. And I just make sure that I allow the SSH from my IP. And thereafter, I just allow the HTTP from anywhere because I will be initiating an SSH connection to the instance. And then I will install the Lusher 
package upon it. So in this case, please ensure that you allow the HTTP and, and HTTPS from anywhere so that you can install the Lustre package and also you can install some packages if needed. Click on review and launch, launch, and I just choose existing key pair, which is there on my desktop. I click on launch as testers and my testers would be launched. Now, FSX file system takes some time to get created. You can see that it's still in the process of getting created. In the meantime, I just go to view instances and these are the two instances that I just launched. So uh, let me filter them so that we can just focus on these different instances. So uh, I name it as, for example, uh, one and this is two. So just to differentiate between these two, or let, let's leave it as it is. So, or I just type in, for example, number one. Right? So this would help us to differentiate between two different instances. Fine. Now I start with the first instance and I will just SSH to this instance. So let's copy its public IP and I just open my terminal. Let me just drag that to the screen. Let me just increase its font size and I just go to my drive where my key is being saved and just SSH to the instance, the very first instance that we have. Let's type in yes. I'm connected to the very first instance that, that we just deployed. And I'll also go ahead and connect to the second instance. So let's go to the drive where my key is being saved. And I just SSH to uh, the instance using this BEM key. And uh, let me just go ahead and copy and paste the public IP address of the second instance. Fine. So let's go back and just paste it. And we shall be connected. So once we're connected, the second thing that we have to do is that we have to go back to the FSX file system. It's, it's still getting created. Now, remember when we launched it, there was a security group applied to it. That security group, if it is go to the instance page and just go to the security groups on the left-hand side, this is the security group it created. If it is click on that, and check its inbound rules, uh, you will see that I click on edit inbound rules. It allows all the traffic from its own security group ID. Now, I also want that it should allow all traffic from the front-end EC2 instances. So in this case, I just type in the Eastern instances security group that I apply to the instance when I launch them, right? So this is the same security group which was applied to the instances when I launched the instances, the same one, right? So this is uh, access from the EC2 instances. I click on save rules. Now once I do that, this means that I have the eligibility to connect these two instances via the terminal. The very first thing that you have to do once you connect to the instance is that you have to install the package. Uh, so the Lustre client has to be installed upon these two different instances. So if you just go back to the FSX Lustre page and choose the FSX file system and click on attach, you can see that it says attach file system. It will give you the list of uh, commands that you have to execute. Now, once you connect, the third step it shows is that install the open source Lustre client. If you click on this, it will just give you or, or it will take you to the page based on the OS that you're running uh, upon your virtual machine or the EC2 instance. You have to choose uh, that specific OS. For example, in our case, it is uh, Amazon Linux 2. So I can just 
use this command to install the Lustre client upon both my instances. Let's copy it. Let's go back and paste that on my terminal of the first instance. And I will just repeat this process for the second instance once this is done. So this package will be installed. And then I repeat the same process for the second instance. So once I install the latest Lustre client package, the next thing that I shall be doing would be that I need to create a directory upon which my this EFS file system will be mounted. So I just copy this command and paste it on both the instances so that the FSX directory is being created. Once it creates a directory as a mount target, then I will run this command to mount this FSX file system, this Lustre file system upon both these instances. So I run the, this command on the first instance and I repeat the process for the second instance. And here we go. Now, if I just uh, go to the directory where, uh, so let me just, change myself to the root user so that I can just run some commands. Now, if I just change the directory, the FSX directory, and uh, I just uh, run a touch command to create a TXT document, for example, uh, let's type in EFS.txt. And let's type in ls, this shows up. Now, I put some text into this, so let's try just run this command echo and this is an EFS demo session and I put that in the text document and if it is to run the cat command I can see the text that is encapsulated in this text document now if this go to the second instance and I just go to the directory. We'll just tap in sudo su just to ensure that I can change myself to the root user. And then I just go to the directory and just type in ls. You will see that the same text document shows up and it's from the cat command shows me the content in this document, which means that this file system, which is this one, this EFS file system, this Lusher file system is now connected with my these two instances, which are these two instances. And now this file system is a kind of a common storage that's been shared across my both instances, right? And I can just see it when I connect to these instances and run some commands. So this is the entire process that you need to follow. You need to ensure that you just uh, go along through these steps to create an EFS file system. Then you launch two instances. You ensure that you manipulate the inbound rules in the security group of the file system so that you can allow the connectivity from the instance to the backend file system. And then you can just run some commands as I've shown you to install the Lustre client and to create uh, a FSX or I would say any uh, directory upon which this file system can be mounted. So you need to create a directory that will be used to mount your EFS file system. And then you can just run some commands or you can just create some documents and you can just uh, see whether those documents can be accessed from other instances, which proves that now this file system is a common storage for workloads and applications running upon both instances. So I hope this was informative. That's how you can deploy and use the Amazon FSX for Lusher or the file system and connect it to your instances. 
that's it thank you so very much